Hey guys, my name is Carlos Mendez. I'm a 3D artist using SolarWorks Visualize today in Quick Tips using the Bloom feature. So what is Bloom? Bloom is an optical artifact that occurs on physical cameras when a portion of the image is drastically overexposed. So what you end up getting as a result are these bright areas that have light that softly spills out. Good example of that would be screens and LEDs. So I have a couple of examples here that I could show you what I mean. Um, in this case, we have close-ups of LEDs, and you can see how you have this sort of soft yellow light emit, being emitted or have, giving the illusion of being emitted out. Same with these areas of high intensity in the metal and on the screens, more screens, and even the background, uh, if we're using Bloom, can actually come, uh, spill into the image that we, uh, if that's what we desire. Great. So in this example, I'm going to be using a MacBook Pro. I'm going to walk you through the steps of applying a decal that has the screen, and then I will add emissive uh, properties to that screen and finish off by giving it a bloom. So let's start off by first creating a new decal. I'm going to use this Mac screen that I have. Seems appropriate. So we're going to click and drag, and I'm going to scale it up. So let's... Let me get a little closer here. I want to have to eyeball this, but we can do it. All right, let me went a little too much. Let's see how long it takes. Uh, there it goes pretty quick. One more. There it is. We'll go up a little bit. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Great. We're almost there. Next step is you want to give a new appearance that has glow properties. So we're going to no glow glow not gloss so we're going to switch from matte to emissive and we're going to leave it as is click and drag all right almost there right you can see how it's reflecting on the ground so now all we have to do is enable bloom for that we go into cameras we're going to click on the camera that we're currently using we're going to go down and we click on bloom and we're going to enable bloom so you'll immediately see things happening um, however bloom uh, in order for it to be visible, you have to keep in mind that it, it, it interacts with the entire image. So if you have a bright, a bright background, you're going to get that background spilling onto the object. So in this case, I would need to shrink the radius and probably up the intensity to localize to the areas that I want. So let's bring the radius back down a little bit more. You could see how it's now surrounding sort of areas of the screen that are being emissive and I can even push the intensity up and the threshold the last setting here controls the sensitivity of how visualized will process the bloom so the higher you go the less sensitive it is and the lower you go the more sensitive and and the more it uses other sources of brightness to affect the bloom okay and intensity self-explanatory it refers to the exposure specific exposure of the bloom okay so you can see it in this in this case and you can even say well let me bring the brightness the intensity a little bit you can say okay great i it, i can tell i can see it in this environment so let's what happens though if we switch it to a dark environment so we're going to go do exactly that click on environment switch to color you can see when you do that um, and you don't adjust the bloom it can really kind of overwhelm the image so let's adjust the bloom to look correctly in the dark background uh, dark environment so we're going to go back to our camera and we are going to tweak the bloom a little bit we're going to bring the intensity down to uh, somewhere around somewhere around there and the radius we're going to bring also down just a tad to localize it to the screen and areas that are that are bright and we're going to increase the threshold so it's not overly sensitive just a tad bit all right we're getting a little bit closer however the last thing i want to do is that i want to tweak the glow appearance that i have here because it's kind of killing my screen so but i don't want to do it too much so i'm going to drag just a tad bit on this wheel here let's see something like that that might be that's too little because it Again, you need to make sure you have some intensity so the bloom shows up. And there you go. Eight. Eight seems to be right. Perfect. A couple of things I wanted to mention too before I go is that you want to make sure that the you want to I hope you understand that the bloom is related to 
uh, how much in, uh, brightness and emissive areas you see on the screen. So in this case, if I don't, if I go sideways and I don't see the screen and cuts off, there's going to be no bloom coming from it. As soon as you can see the screen, bloom will build up. Great. So using these settings, I went ahead and I used uh, used them to render this these images where you could see the the bloom coming from the keyboard and the screen from the screen itself in a dark environment and the screen and in a light environment. Great. I hope you found this helpful and best of luck and I'll talk to you guys soon.